This program is a co-production of WTVS Detroit and the General Television Network. Ready. Imagine. Okay, don't sing and, please. It's on. We're down two rehearsals before performance, and I've said it a thousand times if I said it once. Please, write it in your copy. On. Pressure. Okay. The problems that, right that come from that, that first rehearsal sometimes leave one a bit depressed because things that seem to be going well in the rehearsal area suddenly are, are not working so well. Loneliness at times gets to the core of my being. I need the group for companionship. I need them to kind of make me feel good at least once a week. As a police officer, it's hard to deal with the cruelty the ugliness that that you see and this corral and this church is a positive Foot Street Presbyterian Church has been in downtown Detroit since 1849. We start feeding at 8 o'clock in the morning and we're not done until 12. And by the time we're done, 600 people will have been fed, clothed, gotten a haircut, and a shower. The Messiah is about one who came among us, who upon the day of his birth was homeless. And so this church cares for those without homes. It's a refuge, a sanctuary, a place warm, out of the cold, where a person can come and be sheltered. I'm so lonely at times that I could cry because I want someone to talk to so bad, and I want somebody's shoulder to cry in, and I don't have it. And it, it hurts. I have gotten so down. I had actual evil thoughts in my, in my mind. That's how bad my loneliness would get. I wanted to, like, maybe on, the, on my wall, like, get my hand and bash my hand against the wall and break my hand or something. I had those kind of thoughts. I never did them, but I had those kind of thoughts. I said, now somebody will pay attention to me. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, write into your copy, and again, we'll say this a thousand times, but we'll say it 10,000 times if you don't write it in your copies. Ah, ah, on he. Ready. I joined the choir, the chorale, in 79. And that was, when I first walked in there, I felt, I thought they were professionals. And I thought, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I'm not a professional. And I was scared, I was actually really scared. We didn't have any auditions. We want to afford an opportunity for people to participate in this marvelous music, in this incredible sanctuary. We have attorneys, we have school teachers, we have college professors, we have housewives, uh, office workers, secretaries, truck drivers. The group is remarkably diverse. Somehow all of the 
all of the barriers dissolve when you walk in the door. Some of you here think you know the Messiah. You may know the notes and the words well, but you don't always sing it so well. And we're really here to sing. Okay, ready? One. auditions, I was the happiest person in that whole church. Because I was so nervous that I think I was, I was scraping my feet and everything, and I thought I was going to go right through the floor. I was so scared. But after we started singing and vocalizing, I said, hey, this is it. This is my group. Okay. Tenors, if we may. Let her be. <laughs> us to the Fort Street Corral is the enthusiasm of the group, the feeling we have of togetherness with the group, because I think for the most part we are not, each of us are singly, are not that good a singer, but the thrill of the sound we can produce when we all sing together is just something that, that's indescribable and you just have to do it to really understand the thrill of it all. And it doesn't matter who you are or what you do, you know, you're here to sing. If you don't know, we'll teach you. If you're not a strong singer, we'll put you next to someone who can read music. The idea of singing with a mixed group, where you have blacks and whites and Hispanics and what have you, uh, it's a kind of communication where we're working together. And uh, it's just a delight to know that you can do things in harmony, and we do singing in harmony. Dean Luster. I'm a Detroit police officer. I um, found Fort Street, Presbyterian Church, literally found it. And I was assigned on that corner alone that particular night. And I was uh, feeling cold, lonely, and more than a little sorry for myself. <laughs> and I was met by all of these very warm people, smiling. And they all seemed very pleased to see me standing there. And I looked at the church again, and I thought, I'm going to visit here. That night on that corner was, I think, one of the best things that ever happened to me, by getting assigned to Fort and Third. OK, the good news is we're going to have a party. <laughs> the bad news is we're going to have to work before we get there. Um, <laughs> we're going to get on the telephones at my office and call our mailing list and tell people the good news about our upcoming season. Let me know if you're willing to telephone, uh, if you can be a caller, or if you would be willing to help with the clerical end of it, too. Dean Luster from the Fort Street Corral. How are you? Good, good. You're on our mailing list. You sang with us. Did you? Oh, now the name is familiar. How are you? Where are you? Oh, 
I don't really feel 100% safe in this neighborhood anymore. I don't really go out that much because there was a murder. A lady was raped and beaten. I was scared. I had to, I was terrified, let me put it that way. I lost a very dear friend um, on the police department in the line of duty. And I've never gotten over it. I don't think I ever will. I miss him today. Well, I was mugged once, robbed. I've been robbed about three times. I try to counterbalance the negative things with positive. I can go to corral rehearsal and express, enjoy, and be positive and try to fill my life with the positives. I think music is what is at the heart of what we do here. I come here because I love it and enjoy it. Have a good time singing. And you get up to sing, and there's just this magic that comes out. And everything comes together. Everybody, for whatever their religion is, believes what they're saying. character of Solomon, people. Don't let it collapse. If you think these words, you can't let that happen. If you believe what you're singing, you cannot let that happen. Sing it like it's a show tune or something. Good. Lee. Okay. Tenors only. Sorry. Sorry. Tenors only. Your entrance, gentlemen. Tenors sing. Okay. Don't scoop into it, man. You have to think of attacking it from above. I'm going to be singing G's later on. Have those G's in that D. Ready? some intensity, like you mean it. Some despair. Once again, right there? Otherwise, it doesn't mean anything. This is not um, easy music, easy singing. If you were not really serious about it, you wouldn't stay here very long. If this was a lark or a frolic, you'd have to find someplace else to frolic because he works us to death. <laughs> There are parts where I get very frustrated because I say, I know this, why am I making a mistake? See, that is, that is, that one area. Okay, well, you got it. Yeah, well, well, I'm so used to uh, singing it the same way I sang it before, and that's mm -hmm. what, that's what gets me, and that's what... You want to try it a cappella without me playing either part? Okay, now. <laughs> From here, huh? Yeah, well, this is where I start getting bad okay. now. Let's see, now, let me, let me get my starting note. I've got to get it right. I want to do it right. I want to make the people happy. I um, I get upset when I make, when I when I do something wrong. And Ed keeps saying, "I've told you that a hundred times. Don't do it anymore." But he says we're doing a whole lot better. Hey, now, man. Once again, if we may, starting it. This is the first thing the audience hears. More H A N D or H A W, hand altos on your initial attack. Right there on the voice parts, crisply. Ready? <laughs> Good! 
these new members, and uh, many of them don't get the music learned. And uh, they'll know it better next year. Uh, the concern is, will those who know it carry, uh, carry those who don't know it? <laughs> Okay, don't sing and, please. It's on. We're down two rehearsals before performance, and I've said it a thousand times if I said it once. Please, write it in your copy. On. Okay. Here we take it right there. Okay, good. Tenors, can you keep that short two and three, more staccato on that entrance, man? That's the idea. Once again, altos, good. That's the idea, ladies. The pressure mounts on all of us, people, and we're here to make this music come to life. Once again, altos. But as a conductor, everyone is depending on you. I sort of become possessed of, of this. I think about it every day, continuing. Uh, it never escapes me. Okay, gentlemen, on those sustained notes, you're holding back. You're slowing up. You have to press ahead. Ready? <laughs> See, I dream about the music all night long, and anticipating the rehearsal, somehow I don't get hungry. I forget that, that it's time to eat supper uh, because I'm busy uh, studying. Tenors, that's weak. You're not all singing that. Tenors, get on that. This is one of those little fragment places that falls apart. I want to hear more than the instruments at that point. On the flesh, altos. Ready, your entrance are sing. OK, don't sing and. On, once again. We're doing this for you, tenors. Know where we are? Once again, altos. OK, you have a D sharp, gentlemen. Tenors only, right there. Ready? Shall, shall. Once again. Please sing on, not and. I'm going to pound away on that until you write it in your copies. I'm tired of saying it. And now we're getting next to the performance. We rehearsed with the orchestra on Thursday. I should not have to say that now. OK, once again, shall be reveal it. Good, altos. It's only one or two of you that's doing it. I'm going to single you out in a moment if you don't stop it. I'll point to you. OK, altos again. Ready? That's better, Tenores. Shall be revealed. For me, there are a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, this is the first year I've conducted it. I feel very deeply that everything will be fine, and uh, and yet, um, lurking in the background, <laughs> permeating every pore, is this this pressure.
so beautifully written. And when the orchestra is with you and the soloist and the whole thing comes together, um, they're just joyful. And I hear this beautiful sound, and I am part of that beautiful sound. And it's, it's a elation. It's an inner, inner, almost like, a, like I feel like I'm glowing. And it, it just makes me smile. I think the miracle is uh, this incredible sharing uh, and uh, a body of individuals exceeding what they ever dreamed they could be because they're doing it together. It's essential that we watch and that finally you sing from the bottom of your heart. Sing together. These are wonderful words. The text that, uh, that we're singing about tonight has changed the course of history dramatically for the last 2,000 years. And uh, we have an opportunity in some small manner to change the lives of people because of this. And let's hope that tonight the performance we realize will make all of us better people and, and touch the audience as well. God knows the world needs it. Thank you all so much. So much.